Greetings, Internet, and welcome to A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and today we are celebrating the 100th video released by the Stupendium. They have released a remaster of their song, Find the Keys, their song about Bendy and the Ink Machine, the one that made them rise to fame. And so we say, congratulations, Stupendium, on a hundred videos. That is fantastic. Uh, super, super uh, amazed by that. That's a, that's a huge output. Uh, and uh, congratulations to you. Also, congratulations on winning the Logan Whitehurst Memorial Award for Excellence in Comedy Music for Outstanding Comedy Music Video for Vending Machine of Love, the theme from Only Cans. If you missed it, the Logan Awards, aka, you know, the Logan Whitehurst Memorial Awards for Excellence in Comedy Music, that whole long thing is also just, you know, the Logan Awards. They're the Comedy Music Awards, of which I am the chairperson, but I don't do the voting, I just organize the event. The, uh, the jurors all agreed that uh, Stupendium was the winner for Outstanding Comedy Music Video up against the likes of Tom Carty and Bo Burnham, so congratulations to Stupendium on that win. Congratulations to them on the uh, 100th video, so that's fantastic. So. Without any further ado, let us dive into this week's video. Going to the arcade, I fill my thermos with caffeine because I just got paid. <sighs> Happy April Fools, everyone! I'm uh, actually not going to react to Stupendium's new song because it's a remaster. I actually already reacted to the original version, at least, in a live stream uh, to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, and uh, the the new song sounds better. It's great, uh, but the the I've already reacted to it technically, and uh, the video is is not really changed. The video is just remastered. It's got a couple extra effects and it's in 4K, but it's it's basically the same thing I, I already reacted to, so there would be really nothing new for me to say for it. I have seen it. It's great. It's, you know, it's it sounds crisper and looks better than the original did, but not enough of it. It has been changed. So instead, for April Fools, I'm reacting to my own video. This is my song Dig Dug, which is a parody of TikTok by Kesha. This is one of my biggest uh, music videos. Uh, and one of my biggest songs at the time from my second album. Uh, I'm just... It's April Fool's. You know, if anybody continues to watch after this moment, I'm going to be surprised and thankful. But uh, if you check out now, it's not going to surprise me. But uh, regardless, we're going to dive into to one of mine. Got some change to play some games, but I ain't no fool. So two things about this. This was filmed in Baltimore. In, I mean, it was filmed in Maryland. But uh, that house is not mine. That is the house of uh, the guy who filmed and edited this, my good friend Bob Rose, who did a bunch of my music videos for my first couple albums. Uh, and the shirt that I'm wearing, the Dig Dug shirt, is not mine. That belongs to my friend Chris Krause, who, uh, who I was... Uh, I, I was a manager at a video game store, and he was one of my friends and employees there. And we're still friends today, even though we both have moved on from that place. Um, he runs a, a podcast uh, called Space Time Taco, uh, and it's a it's a video game podcast and, and network thing, and does a lot of streaming stuff, too. Check his stuff out. But I'm a big fan of Dig Dug, and it seemed like the perfect parody for TikTok, because the music was kind of 8-bit-ish, kind of with the synths in it, so it kind of gives you a little bit of an 80s feel. Cause the games I'm gonna play are straight from the old school. I'm talking centipedes, just a big maze. Galaga's yeah, just a space chase, full position the car race. And uh, this, uh, this whole sequence is filmed at Crabtown, USA, which is a, a restaurant in, I think, Glen Burnie, Maryland. Uh, that has a huge arcade in the back room, um, 
it's Maryland. Cra e eating crabs is a thing, Maryland crabs. Um, but, you know, so they have crab houses all over the place, but this one has a giant arcade in the back with tons of old school games on it. And of course they had a Dig Dug machine and they allowed me to film there, so that was cool. And uh, this was one of the, the my bigger songs, and the video for this actually came out three years after the song did. Sometimes I'm slow. But I beat that record recently when I released my music video for Internet Famous uh, almost six years after the song came out. But uh, in doing so, I was able to get the stupendium in it. So there's a tie-in. Anyway. But these other games just don't thrill me. Mario's got Luigi and Pac-Man makes me dizzy. That's an effect Bob just loves putting in the videos. He does them, he does Tim and Eric style stuff and likes digital manipulation and stuff, so he, he definitely likes messing with my face like that. And also my, this is the old look. I didn't have the full beard then, it was just the goatee. Kind of glad I don't do that anymore. My face looks Charlie Brown round. See there, I messed up. I, I said the, the second chorus there, don't won't stop till they drop, instead of won't stop till they pop, I screwed up the chorus in my own video. Um, I Honestly, this is one of my favorite music videos I've ever done, uh, just because of, of getting to film everything, and I, I had the concept from Jump on how I wanted to do it. I opened in the same way the Kesha video does, where she wakes up in the shower, I was in the shower at Bob's house. <laughs> that's the opening shot of the thing. And then more people show up, all of them friends of mine, who I, I, I had be in the video, and uh, the cops I'll point out soon. It's such a bop, I'll be honest. It, I think doing the weird nerd voice that I was doing, kind of the slightly nasal voice that I was doing in the song, kind of helped elevate the song, because you're kind of picturing a certain type of person doing the song. Uh, and I think that kind of helped push me, the popularity of this song, by doing it in a character voice. Pinball machines, too. My buddy Victor, that's Fallon, uh, Chris, and Susan. Uh, Susan brought Fallon, I wasn't super familiar with who Fallon was. Actually, no, I take that back, I think I knew Fallon when I was younger. So they're all hitting 911 on their phones, but it was different shots. Uh, Chris was scared about dialing 911 on his cell phone because he thought it would call them, but he didn't hit send. So I was like, as long as you don't hit send, it's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he was worried about doing it. This is very early days of cell phones. This was, I mean, it wasn't that early. It's still like 20. Uh, when we filmed this sequence, I think it was like 2010, but it took like three years for us to finish the video because we had all these other things to do and money. It was a thing. And it, now in this shot, in the streaming light, comes our two, uh, our two cops called by the people who I wouldn't let on the game. These are my buddies, uh, Stetis and Ben. Uh, ben has my, been my producer for a very long time. He produces most of my tracks. Stetis helped me produce my first couple of tracks. He did uh, Guitar Hero, which was my first big song, and a couple of the other songs on my first album. Ben did the rest of the production. Uh, they were in a band together called Scoundrel, which was a big uh, metal band. Uh, well, uh, hair metal band. Uh, <laughs> kind, of, kind of more that kind of... Uh, version of metal in Maryland, and uh, they are also known as the Musicians on the second album, Insane Ian and the Musicians. Uh, 
Stettis wrote a song, then recorded it, and I put that on the album. I don't even sing on that one. It's called uh, uh, Use Some Money, which is a parody of Use Somebody, or, yeah, uh, by uh, Kings of Leon. And also they appear on my uh, Boom Boom Pow parody that's on that album. Uh, but this was just a super fun sequence to film, and I, I found, like, really bad cop shirts at, like, a, a costume shop. And, and bad badges, they were clearly plastic, and got him aviator sunglasses, and Ben continued to wear those sunglasses for years. <laughs> and just... Them dragging me away is just my favorite part. You can almost see Bob in the mirror there with the camera. That's just a good look of my face pressed against the glass. This is Bob's car. It's not a cop car. It was white. It was close enough. It's a lot of things in music videos. It's close enough. That laptop is underneath the laptop I'm watching this one on. <laughs> that's what I do most of my editing on still. That video is so old and that's yet the same laptop. I used it as the cop, because, you know, in cop cars they have a laptop near the screen where they can look up license plates and stuff, that's what that was supposed to symbolize, but I pull out this plug-and-play unit that we plug into the laptop to play Dig Dug because I'm that obsessed with it. <laughs> Instead, is turning it upside down is weird. So this costume was a white painter's outfit I bought from Home Depot. The ones that come in a plastic bag and it's just it feels like paper and you unfold it and you put it on when you're painting your house. The little cheap painter's outfit that I drew the Dig Dug, uh, not even triangles, they're almost chevrons that are on his costume on the front. And the helmet is a children's... NASA helmet I bought from a costume shop. It was like it was like a it was like a, a I can't think of the name of the costume shops. The ones that appear in abandoned buildings during Halloween. Uh, I bought that helmet from there, but it had all these NASA things all over it, and we had to use a seam ripper to pull them all off. Uh, so that was fun. But yeah, that's what that helmet is. I look like I look like a space tampon. But yeah, lots of green screen in this whole sequence here which was uh, a fun concept to do, and, and Bob does a lot of green screen stuff and fun things like that, so I knew I wanted him to edit this, and when we finally got this all done, just he outed himself in this. This is absolutely great work. You can tell it's drawn on with a Sharpie. I had a red Sharpie. <laughs> the real fire <laughs> instead of the game fire. The pump doesn't move. And this is my old apartment uh, with all my friends. Uh, there's Victor and Chris from the <laughs> arcade before. Uh, there's Wes. There's Sean and... Why can I not think of his name? I've done movies with him. My brain is blanking right now. I, I, I feel terrible. Uh, and behind him, you can't see his face, is Kobe. And back behind the couch is Chris's wife, Karen, I think. Yes, Karen. Uh, why can I not think of his name? Oh, God. That's upsetting. Um, regardless, uh, friends of mine filming in my old apartment in Baltimore. While well, I'm actually playing Dig Dug on Xbox. Oh, and there's Stettis behind. <laughs> there's Stettis, too. One of the cops is there. <laughs> I love his little punch move for some reason. And uh, Wes is just holding the album that this song is on behind my head. The Insane, and the, Mu Insane Ian and the Musicians album, The Last Arcade. The cover is a parody of My Chemical Romance's The Black Parade, and the last song on the album is a parody of that song. There's a video for it, too, that uses clips from Rock Band and Fallout. That's here on YouTube. Anyway. Still 
Kobe's just going, go, 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 go. And that's the end. I never, I, I never actually noticed that shot of when I'm like making the face at the end of Stedis just making a face at me and dancing out of shot. Oh, that's really funny. Uh, yeah, so that's my video for Dig Dug. Uh, I know what happens in the video, so I'm more telling about the making of the video than really reacting to my own song. But uh, honestly, this song is a bop. I, this was one of my most popular songs for a very long time. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to share that with people on April Fool's. Um, so, you know, that's what this was. If you enjoyed this, please check out the original video in the link below. Uh, and if you want to check out my other stuff, please do that. Uh, again, uh, big th uh, congratulations to the Stupendium on their 100th video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I have a Patreon. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. And out in the morning going to the arcade, I fill my thermos with caffeine because I just got paid. Got some change to play some games, but I ain't no fool, cause the games I'm gonna play are straight from the old school. I'm talking centipedes, just a big maze. Galaga's just a space.